here. Welcome to your weekly reading for December 14th to the 20th. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul if you are joining us for the first time. Uh, these are going to be general readings. So we'll look at whatever messages kind of come through for the week. Uh, so take what resonates, leave the rest. It's not going to resonate with everyone, obviously. Uh, you can always also... If you know them, you can check out your sun, your moon, your rising sign um, for additional messages as well. So uh, let's see kind of where we go. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoy these messages and you want to see more of them. As well, I'm going to be doing a uh, new moon reading for the new moon in Sagittarius, which is also a solar eclipse. That will be... Um, I think the date of it is it's either the 14th or the 15th of December. So I will be posting that sometime this week as well. So let's see where we go for Cancer. What do we have for Cancer this week? December 14th to the um, 20th. We have Cultivating Prosperity. What else do we have? I had that in the same spot for, I think it was Leo. So you might have Leo in your chart. They're also your neighboring signs, so. We have dwelling in truth. I stand in the light of truth. And then we have being in flow and starting fresh. Um, Leo also had the starting fresh card in the same spot. So I feel like, I also think they had embracing the future as well. That's funny. Um, Cause I did them that they weren't my last person to go to do. Um, so I feel like you're in alignment. You're in very much in alignment here. So we have cultivating prosperity. The abundance of the universe is pouring into my life. We have dwelling in truth. I stand in the light of truth. And then we have being in the flow. I am in the flow of the universe. And then we have starting fresh. A wonderful new beginning is blossoming, blossoming in my life. So like spiritually, I feel you're very much in alignment. You're very much in alignment with the universe. You're listening to the universe. You're manifesting with the universe. Um... You're just kind of in this flow state, which is allowing new things to come in towards you. Um, starting fresh, definitely starting um, some sort of new beginning, whether it's in a love or in a project or something. For some of you, you could be starting a family. I just feel like you're really open to receiving, you're really able to receive. There's a lot of abundance uh, coming in towards you here. So let's see, what else do we have for Cancer this week for December 14th to the 20th? What do we have for Cancer? Right off the bat, we have the Fool. Queen of Wands, Ace of Cups, Tower, Four of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Five of Cups, and King of Swords, and the Eight of Wands bottom of the deck we have the magician yeah you're definitely working with the universe here with this magician I feel like you're really um, because you're in so much alignment it's allowing you to manifest a lot of different things in your life I also feel like you're seeing the truth of a situation as well so we have the fool the queen of wands and the Ace of Cups in your first row. This is like some sort of like new beginning in love, I think, where you're, you're finally taking a leap towards love. You wanting, again, with that starting fresh, I feel like you're wanting new love. For others of you, this is like total alignment and self-love. Like this is you knowing exactly what your heart wants. Um, the middle row, we have the Tower, the Four of Pentacles, and the Nine of wands there's either some sort of like something you've either been holding on to 
I feel like with this tower is being um, removed from your life. It's almost like restriction or um, restriction or um, what is the word I'm looking for? Like anything that's holding you back is 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 being removed. I think from this this tower here, it's kind of what I'm getting. It's like there's no more restriction. There's no more walls. There's no more blocks. It's like you're you're getting rid of the blocks in your system so that things can come towards you here. Five of Cups, King of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. I feel like there's a person here because I kind of feel like this is their energy. I feel like it's this King of uh, Swords energy. It's like. Um, I feel like in the in the past or there was some sort of like hurt with this person with this five of cups like sadness um some sort of loss that i feel like maybe they're communicating with you here or it's like it's almost like um it's almost like an i'm sorry is what i'm kind of getting from it so let's see what is this clarify this magician what is it that cancer is Kind of like starting fresh with here. What are they manifesting with the with the universe? What is Cancer manifesting here? Clarify the magician, please. For Cancer. Okay, so we have the Sun, the Six of Pentacles. Three of Swords. So, I also feel like there's a little bit of healing here. Um, but I feel like you're manifesting more balance in your life. I feel like you've possibly come from this place of this, this Three of Swords, this painful place, and it's like you're trying to create some sort of balance, trying to bring some more, like, light into your life but it's almost like you're working with the good and the bad you're working with like it's like you're acknowledging both the light and the dark i feel like there's something coming in towards you here i want to clarify what's this three of swords yeah you're moving on from that that pain we have the six of swords you're moving on from that so what is this fool card here the Hierophant. You've learned um, some sort of lesson and now you're able to move forward. Also getting like a weird like coming out of hermit mode. Seven of Cups and the Empress. Yeah, it's like you're trying to figure out almost like it's like, okay, well, where can I go next? Like, if you're looking at your options of where you can go, where you can take this leap of faith, it's like, which one can I put my effort and my growth into and my energy into? Because I feel like whatever you put your energy into, it'll just, it'll grow. Um, High Priestess at the bottom, you're definitely listening to your intuition here. What is this Ace of Cups for Cancer? But I, I really feel like you're wanting to take a leap towards, like, love here. What is this Ace of Cups here for Cancer? This could have kind of already happened as well. Clarify this Ace of Cups here. Ace of Swords. Three of Cups and the Page of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Star and the Wheel of Fortune. So things are healing, things are moving forward for you here. Or you've healed, so it's allowing things to move forward in your favor. Um, you could be meeting this person uh, out in public or with a group of people, like maybe from through a group of friends or family is how you get to know this person. Um, it is something new here with this page of wands. They could be younger than you, but there could be like almost like some sort of like a conversation that you have with this person out with in public or with friends. Like maybe you meet them and you guys sit down and talk or something. Let's clarify this tower. Clarify 
Caught by the tower. The devil. Okay. The devil, temperance, and the four of cups. There was some sort of like lack of stability, I think, in your life. Or lack of stability with a person, with the devil here. interesting because we have 14 15 and 16 with the temperance the devil and the tower it's like this toxic behavior is just being destroyed it's like whatever wasn't working like I said like whatever was holding you back whatever wasn't working but I almost feel like it's bringing you back into alignment with this temperance here it's maybe been a little while um, since you felt this way we have two of Pentacles at the bottom so yeah, there's like a lack of stability, a lack of balance. Um, and I feel like that's just, all of that's being blown up. Any sort of like baggage or things you feel like you, like a lack of resources or like blocking off your heart, putting up walls towards things. It's like you now see the truth. You're standing in the light of your truth. You now know what it is um, or why it is you've done what you've done or you've been the way you have been. Um, and it's like, now, you know, it's like, you know, you need to release these things, right? You're being in the flow. Now you're, you're resisting or you're, you're no longer resisting and you're letting go of any blocks that you have. So let's see. Yeah. The wheel or sorry, the world, um, you're ending that cycle in your life here. So let's see, what is this? What is this King of Swords? Ten of Wands, Justice. So there was something that ended, I think, between you and this person. It's like they want to make something right again. I feel like that's why they're coming in to communicate. We have the Page of Pentacles as well. They could be trying to, it could be some sort of like message or communication. Yeah, they want to heal something between the two of you. I feel like this person's been in hermit mode. They may have like kind of like disappeared left you um definitely created like some conflict here i think them doing that what is this eight of wands clarify this eight of wands Three of Wands, the Lovers, Ace of Pentacles. So they want a fresh start with you. They're taking action towards you. They're trying to come towards you because they want to start something new with you. Someone's been waiting for this or manifesting it. I feel like they've been right, possibly waiting for like the right time to come back around and to talk to you. But they want to fix something here, this this person. I feel like they're from your past. And I almost feel like this is kind of what you've been healing from. Clarify this Five of Cups. You might already have somebody new, though. What is this Five of Cups? Clarify this Five of Cups. Judgment, Ten of Cups, the Moon. So there is something here that, like, I do think they're a past person with this Judgment card. I feel like this situation at one time was really good with the Ten of Cups, but there was something here that was being hidden or, like, um... Somebody wasn't fully expressing themselves of how they really feel. And I think someone ended up walking away. It's not really telling me which person, but I feel like it was them that walked away. And it's like, now they wanna come back.
Now they want to come back around. What is this moon? Three of Pentacles. Five of Wands. It's like there, there wasn't, um, I'm getting like a lack of cooperation. This person like wasn't willing to, or they weren't recognizing their emotions for you. But there was no like, you guys weren't working together. Instead, it was like causing a lot of issues. There was something here in the past that just like was not working. I think it's because this person was hiding um, their feelings or not fully expressing themselves. There's something kind of like hidden with that moon card there. And it was causing conflict. And now this person wants to, I think, come back around and fix this with this lovers and this ace of want or ace of pentacles. So there's definitely somebody coming back around towards you. I feel like you're in a really good place. I feel like you're really removing some blocks kind of within you. You've definitely done some healing work here. Um, and you're really, um, you're really in alignment. You're really in alignment um, spiritually, I feel. So that's really good. Um, I feel like you're letting go of any sort of like codependency. Um situations or situations where you've blocked your heart and you're opening yourself back up to love so uh that looks good i just don't know it's not really giving me much on this person other than they want to come back around so whether you let them do that or not that is up to you <laughs> it's always up to you so that is what i have for you cancer so let me know down in the comments if this resonated for you and um i will see you guys in the next video Make sure you like and subscribe if you have not already. And I, yeah, I will see you in the next one. And thank you so, so much for watching. Bye.